Kia ora, I am Alistair Christie and this video is brought to you by LearnDelphi.tv um, Go to www.LearnDelphi.tv to find out um, or to find lots of videos on uh, programming in Delphi um, plus there's some commercial ones there which uh, I would encourage you to buy of course um, So this video, uh, I was at the Delphi XE3 product launch in Auckland so I flew from Wellington to Auckland um, to see that uh, and it was quite cool. And while I was there, I, I just, just got some people on on camera, um, sort of you know ordinary Delphi developers, uh, I suppose doing extraordinary things potentially. Um, and so um, I'll play for the, those for you now. Um, yeah. Hey, um, my name's uh, Chris Lewer. I work for ART Pathology. Um, we're currently being upgraded to um, Delphi XE. Um, we do a lot of work with the uh, laboratory. Um, Blood testing, so we've um, got our main results um, application written in Delphi XC. Um, really interested in seeing what's new out there, um, especially at, uh, uh, looking at maybe uh, mobile development. Um, really interested in the, the HTML5 and the, the mobile um, development suite. Cool, different. Hi there, uh, Andrew McLaughlin. Um, I use uh, Delphi XE and um, do it for machine control interface, uh, working with uh, PLCs and uh, programming on PCs for interface to uh, machine control. So, what kind of machines do you? Do you what kind of machines do you control? Uh, Roll forming machines, steel framing stuff. Um, all sorts of so the fabrication machinery. kind of yeah okay awesome thank there you very much for it. okay I started using Delphi in 1994 running a telemetry system used by natural gas in Huntley uh, the project was for burning coal into the ground and we ran all the monitoring and management of the CNG compressors uh, that project uh, was a, a trial which eventually actually came live about two years ago. Um, with a different set of people, unfortunately, but uh, it took them about 15 years to get it going. Uh, since then, I've used it for practice management software and about 50 other different projects from time to time, and currently working with emergency management systems. Okay, I didn't get your name. Oh, I'm Gary, Gary founder indeed. of the Delphi User Group in New Zealand. Uh, I'm Nick Alexander, we develop on Delphi 7, and we develop uh, software for the building industry where we estimate things, we work out inspection plans, and we create specifications. We also work with uh, Google Maps and images to build up 3D models quickly, so people can go from plans and paper to 3D models quickly. Awesome, thank you. Um, it's Martin Sarank. Uh, I'm currently using Delphi XC2. Uh, I bought that, uh, upgraded to that in the, uh, with the plans to do FireMonkey development. Haven't yet really managed to get an app out in FireMonkey, but uh, hopefully with the release of the second generation FireMonkey, we'll really be uh, able to do that. Well, what sort of applications are you uh, developing? I develop or is it top secret? Uh, no, not at all. No, uh, My application is called Light Factory, and it's a lighting control product for theatre and concert market. Okay, is it an sort of international? Yeah, yeah, we sell that all over the world. Um, so most of our customers are in the United States or the UK, um, but have customers all over the place. So okay. uh, it's a com commercial uh, software just sold online as a, as a download. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, John Bird, JBCL. I also work at uh, Pegasus Health in Christchurch. So I use uh, Delphi 2007 for my own stuff. I've also got XC2, looking at upgrading to either XC3 or XC4, depending on. Uh, how soon I get round to it. Um, my own software is add-ons for legal, legacy legal and um, accountancy software. I've also got my own standalone time recording software. And uh, at Pegasus, I do a little bit of everything. Um, web services, uh, behind the scenes infrastructure, um, Windows services. Um, is probably the main sort of stuff they do. They're in Delphi? They're all written in Delphi XE2. Okay, awesome. So using sort of the um, data, new data snap yeah, well, framework, or um, it's using a lot of uh, technologies used in um, uh, 
uh, medical fields such as um, communicating via uh, HL7, JSON uh, objects, um, but otherwise standard HTTP type communications over web services. Okay. Um, they have like a practice management program that spits out data, sends it to a web service, um, exports it to a central repository. It's a sort of a disaster recovery scenario, which in Christchurch we're quite fond of. Because of the earthquake? Because of the earthquakes. Or earthquakes, I should say. Well, yeah. I mean, they had a number of situations where the... Uh, uh, several of the medical practices buildings were actually destroyed in the earthquake, and of course no one had access to their records anymore. So it's a sort of a, it's called an emergency shared record care view. So it means that places like the hospital can at least retrieve the core patient information. Um, okay. It turns out it's going to be an interesting project because it's likely to start rolling out South Island wide, and the fact there's parts of it I think they already want to take right around New Zealand and maybe overseas as well. Okay. Awesome, thank you. Okay.